Okay, so this is going to be a specific heat lab. Sorry, I kind of got a glitter there on this one. Um, we have five different metals. Actually, just do this first, right? So each one of these tells you the mass of the water that is inside of the container and the mass of the metal that's going to be in there in a minute. So right now there's just some water on the bottom of these. All right. And we're going to add a piece of metal. These are the water temperatures. One, two, and three. There you go. And the top two are four and five. The bottom temperature is the temperature of this. which should be the temperature of these pieces of metal. We've got some water hot with them in there. So if we're, if we're good, right? Oh, got a little steam coming out of there. Fogging up the camera. If we're good, all of those metals will be at the temperature right now. We'll go with 83.8 degrees. So I'm going to hand off this for a moment. And I'm going to put these metals in these cups with water one at a time. All right, we'll put some lids on these and we'll leave them sit for a couple of moments and we'll see what happens with the final temperatures. Kind of scrolling these around a little bit to maybe equalize the temperature inside of them. Unfortunately, these thermometers don't go down very far in the water, so these may or may not be accurate. We'll find out. We kind of want the highest temperature these are going to reach. So we'll scroll them all one more time. temperature that's going to be the one that we're going to record so it's going to go across from the top so I think middle number one it looks like the final temperature of everything will go with 25.0 sorry lost that middle number two Oh wait, temp one's now up to 25.3. Ha, who knew? Is that 0.3 going to matter? Yep, we'll go with 25.3 since that's, that's where it is. This one, the piece of metal is very long also, so whether or not all that heat transferred around the way I think it should, well, we will find out. Second we'll go with 25.3. Twenty-four point eight for number three. Four point seven, number four, and twenty-two point seven for number two. Unless there was a higher number in there somewhere. Number five. Initially, or excuse me, number five is twenty-two point seven. All right, there we go. So those are your numbers. We'll see how the lab works out.